Turn some of your old Christmas cards into these cute little bookmarks. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to need is a Christmas card, of course, and you're not going to use the whole card. You're just going to use the front of the card that has the picture on it. So you're going to cut off the back of the card. I'm using a an X-Acto knife and a straight edge just so you get a nice clean cut. Then you'll take the front of that Christmas card and place it so that you have the picture facing up. And then you're going to fold it in half lengthways. Open it back up and then you're going to take each of those two folds and fold it to the center line. So each edge is going to get folded to that center line. So what you're going to end up with is a shape that has three sections. It looks a little bit like an accordion when you're done. Just like that. So turn the card over so the nice side is facing down. Then take a straight edge and a pencil and then you're going to mark off a little strip that's about a quarter of an inch wide along one edge, just like that. Now take a ruler, put it along that line that you drew with the pencil, and from one side of the card, you're gonna mark off the one inch mark. Then from that one inch mark, you're gonna mark off one half inch increments. Now what you're gonna end up with is nine of these little marks, including that first one at the one inch mark. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is draw lines at a 45 degree angle up to that first fold line. To make this easier, I'm using a protractor. Line up the protractor and mark off the 45 degree angle mark. You know, who said you weren't gonna use these geometry skills from high school in real life? Then you're going to make a line at a 45 degree angle connecting the dots. And you're gonna do the same thing with all the other little marks, marking off 45 degrees. And I just numbered them so that you can see how they all match up and then go on and just keep drawing all the lines until you have nine of them. Now nine lines will be what you need for an average size card. And as this video goes on, you'll understand why. So there are all the lines Then you're going to fold the card back up in that accordion shape. Make sure that the nice side is inside. Now you're gonna take a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut down the lines that you just drew when the shape is folded. And of course, you're gonna cut up to the line, not past it because the card will fall apart. And of course, we're cutting the closed side of the card, not the open side. Once you're done cutting all the little lines, open up the card and then you're gonna fold it in half. So now that we can see the nice side of the card and then choose which side you want the front of the bookmark to be. Now you wanna make sure you're holding the card so that those V shapes that we made are pointing down. You have a very large V shape one at the top, leave that one alone. You'll have another small one below that, leave that one alone. The second small one, you're gonna fold it up. And then you're going to take that one that you folded up and you're gonna put it inside that very top one, the big one, just like that. And that's your first fold. Now we're gonna skip one, fold one, skip one, fold one. So that one we're gonna skip, this one we're gonna fold up. And the same thing, we're gonna tuck it into the next V shape that you can see, goes in there. And then we're gonna skip one, fold one. So we'll skip this one, skip that one, and we're gonna fold this one. So you're going to fold it up and then just tuck it into the V shape that's immediately above it. This is something that's a lot easier to show than it is to describe. So we'll skip this one and fold that one up and then tuck it in to the little V shape that it's touching. And there you go. That's basically all the folding that's involved. 
Now to make your bookmark a little bit more solid and neat looking, you can add a little bit of glue to the ends just to glue the two card pieces together. And if you'd like, you can also glue the little flaps and folds that we just showed. And so wherever we tucked in the V shape into another one, you can just add a little tiny bit of glue there just so it stays together. It stays together remarkably well, even without the glue. Now a hole punch in one end, make a hole and then use a piece of ribbon or a tassel or whatever you want to use that coordinates with the card. You're going to put it through the hole. Just a folded piece of ribbon will do. And then just pass the two ends through the loop and just pull it. And there is your completed bookmark. I'm going to go through the process of folding one more time with a different card because it might be easier to see. So basically you have your top portion that you're going to leave alone and you have these little small V-shapes. Ignore the first small V-shape, fold the second one up and tuck it in and then you're going to skip one, fold one. So we skip the next V-shape, fold the next one up, tuck it in, skip the next V-shape, grab the next one, fold it up, tuck it in and so on. And of course when you're making your bookmarks, if you want one side of the card to be up and one side of the card to be down for the bookmark, just plan accordingly when you're drawing your little 45 degree angle lines like I showed you. And here are some examples of some of the completed bookmarks that I made. Now you could even use these as fancy gift tags uh, if you wanted to for very special presents. Now what you could also do is if you're buying a book for somebody for Christmas, you could tuck one of these homemade bookmarks right in there and it's like a little extra special gift for someone. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks for watching. Now I have a few other videos that turn recycled Christmas cards into some great Christmas crafts. Things like ornaments and even a little Christmas basket. If you want to see these videos, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the links in the description box below this video. You can also click on the little eye on your screen and that'll bring you to my recycled Christmas card playlist. Bye bye.